If you are looking to get out of the heat this weekend and you're near the northwest suburbs, there is a new movie theater open in Wheeling. And after some tough years in that business, we wondered about what goes in to making that kind of financial commitment. Ticket sales aren't what they used to be, but the company is betting that they will be as long as the studios start giving them more films that more of us want to see. The latest addition to Wheeling's Town Center wants you to remember the perks of seeing a movie in a theater, be it that buttery popcorn, comfy seats, or camaraderie. The feeling of being in a crowd in a, a collective group uh, loving uh, a movie together is, uh, is probably my favorite part of the cinema experience. Kate Pittman is with Synergy Entertainment, the group behind this new drink and dine-in theater that opened seven screens in the northwest suburb. The project is pricey and for good reason. Everything is first class in nature uh, and so in excess of 20 million. That kind of investment may surprise you at a time when the industry is still trying to build back up. We have covered the pandemic's major blows to the business of making and showing movies. Theater owners say it's not about competition from streaming at home, it's about the offerings. I mean, the biggest thing wasn't really COVID, it was the fact that the studio stopped releasing the films in theaters. Chris Johnson owns classic cinemas based in Downers Grove. He broke down the number of theaters that shuttered in the past two and a half years. In 2019, there were roughly 41,200 screens and, and now there's 40,700. So, you know, that's really, that's 500 screens nationally. He says some of those have reopened as the studios start putting out new films for theaters with more consistency. Top Gun Maverick helped the box office have its best July since 2019. But there's a long way to go. Year to date, 2019's box office brought in nearly two billion more than today's. I will admit I'm one of those people. I have not been to a movie since before the pandemic. Uh, I guess I haven't <laughs> been drawn yet by any of the big blockbusters, but I am trying to think of what it would be that would draw me back. Are you planning on the extra experience surrounding the movie being the thing that brings people in? Absolutely. It's a big component of it. I mean, we, we certainly want to make it uh, more experiential than just popcorn and soda and Twizzlers. Uh, in your seat, and that's a big component, but th it's also content. Theater owners are counting on big releases coming soon, like new installments of Black Panther and Avatar, to have these seats filled like they were back in 2019. That theater is now open at Wheeling Town Center. The company thinks that it will see box office numbers back to those pre-pandemic levels in another 18 to months to two years.